Yeah, the game's all over here in Cusick Park and we've just had a little bit of time to do a little bit of analysis. James the O'Connor, it wasn't a classic, but as a Clare man, you don't mind. Absolutely not, more Trust. I mean, you know, it was all about the result today. You know, I suppose really they were playing for a place in the Munster final. Um, and Clare's season, you know, I think has turned in the space of seven days, you know, to go down to Thurles and dig out that result last weekend and follow it up then with a really impressive performance today. You know, the graph is very much now heading in the right direction. And, uh, you know, I think huge, huge positive. And I certainly didn't see an 11 point win coming for Clare today. I'm just delighted that we that we did. I was listening to the Limerick manager downstairs, John Kiley, and he said perhaps Clare wanted or needed to be in the Munster final more. Would you concur with that? <sighs> Um, maybe in a way, yeah. I mean, look, Clare obviously got there last last season and didn't perform against Cork. Um, you know, that was a really, really, uh, I think, a big setback to the team. Just the fact that they, 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 you know, they got to the occasion and didn't produce, you know, anything close to their close to their best. And then to go down to Park Kiev this year and again and play probably quite well in in, 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 in for large patches of that match and again not get anything out of it. I think they'll relish another opportunity at, at you know getting a, a crack at Cork. And you know, the Munster Championship was a big thing, I suppose, for that team back in the 1990s. And it's a stick that's maybe been used to beat the current team with it you know okay we have the all Ireland from 2013 but I reckon the Munster Championship hasn't been good enough and these guys want that Munster medal you know I, I have three of them and treasure all treasure all three it's still a huge prize um, we're playing for and I think as I said it's important for the clear players that you know they get back to another one they get another chance and if they win it then the, the silverware on the board and we can drive on from there but um, you know the, the Munster Championship has been, it's been incredible um, and I suppose just today's game maybe didn't hit the heights that we've, we've seen maybe over the past um, you know four weeks but from a clear perspective um, you know, I think we we'll, I think we we'll take where we are. Yeah. Such is the nature of this year's Munster Championship that today's result is going to be quickly forgotten, moved on, and we're going to start looking forward now to the Munster final, Clare against Cork. What do you think we can expect? Well, I think it's, it's funny the way teams match up, uh, you know, against each other. And um, you know, Jamie Shanahan, for example, was outstanding for Clare. Um, you know, today played really well against Waterford, played well against Tipperary. But you know, Cork. The one thing the Cork forwards have is pace. And that's something maybe Jamie, you know, it, it isn't his strong as suit. So you know, Clare will have to make sure they get the matchups right. Um, you know, Cork I suppose, again are there without you know probably playing you know well in, in the second half against Tip, without playing well in the second half against Limerick, and without playing well for large patches of of the game today. So you know, there's plenty of scope for them to improve as well. But I think it's it's two teams that are relatively evenly matched. I don't, I don't think there's a whole lot between them. Um, and you know, it's probably who can learn most, I suppose, from today and, and probably from that first meeting in Cork uh, may well come out on top. And I'm certainly hoping that you know, it's hard to beat a team twice in the same championship. And now you know, we certainly will have that. The, the, I think the bit between our teeth to you know reverse the results from from the opening weekend. I think it's a case of taking all the positive aspects from today, whether they were at the back. Um, you know, the Limerick starting full forward. I only scored a point from play I thought our, our full back line you know, were, were excellent um, Limerick only scored six points from play uh, the starting six forwards in the entire game we didn't concede any scoreable freeze to Shane Dowling you know, in, in that second half so I mean all those things are positives that, 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 that you can build on and, and they're things that you'd hope would be would be repeated in the Munster final and you certainly may have to be repeated given how accurate and how sharp the Cork forwards at their best um, at their best are I thought Colin Galvin had a, was the pick of the four midfielders today I thought he was he was excellent back to his best form and um you know, okay, Shane O'Donnell maybe has scored for improvement. He didn't score, Podge didn't get on the score sheet. But Tony Kelly was excellent in the second half when Clare really needed him to be. And uh, John Connell continued his excellent form, you know, four points in play, again made a big made a big contribution. So yeah, there were aspects where certain guys didn't maybe hit the same heights of, of, of other matches. But by and large, you know, I thought there were a lot of good things to take out of the game from, from, from Don and Jerry's perspective. And um, you know, but it, the Munster final would be a totally different game. Um, you know, Cork would pose a different um, you know, set of us with circumstances and a different challenge than, 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 than maybe Limerick did. I mean, you know, they have a lot of pace. They have guys like Lahan and Harnady and, and, and Pat Horgan that, that you know will punish you with, with given any space whatsoever. So, um, and they're probably maybe a more free-scoring team than what Limerick are. So, look at Clare. We just have to address those and, and try to get the matchups right. But um, you know, on on paper, there's, there's, there's going to be very separate.